Hey, what's up everybody? BDO44 coming at you with another video. All right, so the Los Angeles Lakers lead 56-44 at Crypto.com Arena uh, against the New Orleans Pelicans. And let me just do this, make this right. Give me just a moment. Best half of basketball I've seen the Los Angeles Lakers play probably in over a year and a half, two years, maybe two years best basketball a half of basketball I've seen them play I was very very happy with just about every aspect of what I saw from the way players approached the game to the way Russell Westbrook approached coming off the bench to the way players tried to help one another uh, in situations where it looked like the morale could go left maybe a guy make a mistake here or there maybe a, a missed shot is made uh, is taken but guys just keep on churning away, keep on working on the defensive end. Got to give the Pelicans uh, their credit for playing into our hands, shooting terribly <laughs> and not playing very well up to their standards. But uh, I think the Los Angeles Lakers are playing um, in the way that you want to see them play. Like this is exactly what I hope to see. And all these dang rants I've been having these last five days, or what, however long it's been, four days since the team has played, all these rants I've been having about blowing the team up and angry about the team and how I was misunderstanding uh, what was going on in the locker room and all these different rants. All I really want to see is guys come out and give me this type of effort. So I don't know what the second half will be. Obviously, you have to play 48 minutes. But through 24, this team has done a whole lot to make me very happy as a fan. And this group, you know, they propelled themselves. I think that locker room celebration, that, that thing that gathered them together is ex exactly what they needed to just kind of believe in themselves and believe in what they're doing and I think guys are truly buying in you know you could you could totally see it man that what Darvin Ham is doing and his his effort uh in trying to use Russell Westbrook's strength out there putting him on Zion Williamson in situations and how he was able to effectively draw an offensive foul against Zion stuff like that you know I like how we played Zion in this quarter Braun started off the game with you know, giving Zion space, trying to limit his um, aggression against Zion, banging up against him and stuff like that. I felt like that was very smart. Um, you know, we don't want too much punishment going to Braun at this time. I thought he played a good game, too. Uh, played off of Russell Westbrook well, did a good job of letting Russell control the floor. And as a result, Russell's a plus 11, 11 points, 7 to 6, 6 uh, rebounds, and just on his way to having one of his best games as a Laker. I mean, the floor game looks great out there. He's just making passes in rhythm. And guy, like, like I said last time, Troy Brown and he have a really good synergy. For whatever reason, they just play off each other effortlessly. And then we found that. Uh, we saw Winyan Gabriel get some minutes early. He did a couple, couple really good things. Um, you know, I just like the effort that I'm seeing from guys. And, and I really like the defensive presence that we're putting together. We're making the game ugly. Uh, we're, 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 you know, protecting the rim pretty well. Uh, I think we have about eight turnovers. We forced, I think, 11 or something of that nature. Um, so, you know, all in all, we could shoot the three a lot better, of course. Uh, we started shooting it well near the end of the second quarter, though. It really started splashing for us. Uh, Lonnie Walker's got it going. He's hitting the ball, the three-point shot. We tried to get um, 37 worked in. Uh, Matt Ryan, he was hitting some shots, missing some, too. It was here hit, hit and miss with him, so we kind of got to a point we had to remove him from the floor. Uh, Anthony Davis is kicking butt on the defensive end. I'm loving what I'm seeing from him. Hopefully the knee's okay because I know he ran into – I had a little collision at the end of the quarter and was grabbing his knee a little bit, but I think he'll be all right. But I'm really happy what I'm seeing from him, just defensively running the floor, catching lobs, uh, trying to just make himself available to to be a threat out there. Uh, the jump shot needs to start falling. No, I haven't seen it fall very much just of yet as of yet for him. But all in all, he's doing the little things, you know, getting the, getting steals and stuff like that, getting involved. So I'm I'm very happy, you know, since we've inserted Troy Brown into the lineup, we've provided ourselves just another. A player that kind of brings things together a bit more than anybody we had. Um, he plays well with everyone. You know, it's just kind of like he's just in the right place at the right time. He gets rebounds. He puts body on people on the defensive side. He gets all, you know, just does all of the little things. Hits three-point shots you need. And what I'm loving is just how the team is, is starting to, you know, rotate the basketball around the perimeter and find the open three-point shot. I know LeBron James was a little frustrated on one play where he had an opportunity to shoot a three-point shot in rhythm. Even I kind of was thinking he should take it, but he backed the ball all the way up, 
got the ball to Russell Westbrook for a three-point shot from which he made. Russell's three has been falling too, which is really special. So I know Braun was frustrated on that play, but it's exactly what I want to see us do. Kind of get away from some of those three-point shots and start working, you know, the plays necessary to make guys better. And of course, Braun came down the next play and jacked up the three-point shot because like I said, I know he was upset that he missed that opportunity. The one he didn't take probably was the one you want to take and the one he took afterward was the one you don't, I think. I'm pretty sure they'll see that in the film, but nevertheless, we, I think we got the right idea. We want to pass up some of those three-point shots for opportunities to run plays, and when we do that, we're going to have a happier team. Hey, listen, we got a, a formula here. Our, tie, our guys like being rooted on. You know, they tend, you start wondering what type of buttons you press to get the most out of people. Some people, you got to push them hard and be, you know, hit them to the tough love. These guys seem to be guys that enjoy appreciation. These guys seem to be guys that love to be cheered. The more cheer you give Russell Westbrook, the better it seems he seems to have confidence in himself. And I think he's been feeding off of that. I think he's feeding off of uh, all of the positive energy that's been coming over the last couple of days since he's agreed to come off the bench. And I think he needs to understand how much we appreciate him making that sacrifice for our team. We know he don't want to do it. We know this ain't the best situation. We know all that. But at the end of the day, for the time being, let's do this thing. You know, everybody's here. And let's, let's, let's do it the best we have to do to make our situation right. And in the midst of something, maybe we look around and be happy with how it goes. So I think that's where guys are at. I think guys are learning to, to kind of accept one another. I think guys are learning to, to trust one another. And I think the adversity may have a reverse effect in terms of how things may turn out after all uh, long term with all these guys. Some of these guys who may not necessarily be too fond of one another right now, I think some of the stuff that they're going through right now may actually bring them together, make it, make it all good in the end. So I'm, I'm, I'm very happy with Darvin Ham. You know, I'm very happy with Darvin Ham. I haven't liked everything I've seen from Darvin Ham, but the bigger picture from what I'm seeing on the team is that he's he's focused on certain things that he's trying to see happen. He's trying to use Russell Westbrook uh, to his strengths and try to get him comfortable, trying to get him to understand he hasn't given up on him, trying to get him to understand that we can make this thing work. And he's intent on that. I think other things may have gotten neglected because of the intent on that. But I, I like what he's able to do in his intentions. And I'm seeing it have a, a positive effect on Russell. And it's also having a positive effect on the rest of the team. Um, so that's what I'm seeing, man. A whole lot of happy stuff to say. You know, this has not been a good couple of days as a Laker fan. And coming off of a win, you would think it would be. But I just saw all of the things I didn't like. Uh, you're just right there on display for me. And I just am very happy that that is not the case right now. Uh, so I think guys have responded point blank period his team has responded now we got to see them play a second half of basketball that we can be proud of uh so we can you know send it on hold because at the end of the day we just can't be the tail of two halves you can have one half of basketball where you're happy and then come out flat and then we can have a whole different conversation at the end but through one half of basketball we know what we're capable of and that should be captured in and of itself regardless of what happens in the second half so hopefully i was able to do that with the video congratulations laker on a good first half of basketball let's keep the good times rolling and get this victory against a struggling Pelicans team that doesn't seem to have it tonight. Trigger doesn't seem to have it tonight. Uh, you know, Larry Nance hasn't been as aggressive as I thought he would be. Uh, Don, um, um, Marshall hasn't been hitting shots like that. B.I.'s not on the floor. C.J.'s shot hasn't been falling. I expect some of these guys to find their rhythm in the second half. But what we need to do is put continue to put pressure on them in a, on the defensive end and turn that defense into offense and to continue to be unselfish in our passing around the perimeter and look for the good ones, man. I'm happy with the Lakers right now. They're doing good stuff. BDL 44. Thank you all for watching.